This is Gophrus agassisi, the North American desert tortoise. He's been around for some 10 million years, picking out a slow living in the Mojave Desert in the southwest United States. For most of the time, the only threat was from predators and the vagaries of the weather. But now the tortoise is in conflict with new neighbors. European settlers arrived a couple of hundred years ago, largely followed by the brash and sprawling Las Vegas. Recently, tortoise numbers have dropped so much that it's now the center of a controversial rescue campaign. For ranchers like Kelly Jensen, the unwitting reptile is the source of deep resentment. Since officially declaring the tortoise a threatened species, the U.S. government has cut back grazing rights on the desert. It believes cattle can change the tortoise habitat and crush the animals, also known locally as turtles. Jensen disagrees. This has uh, traditionally been cattle run here for 100 plus years by my great grandfather. My grandfather and then my father and then I'm running cattle. Uh, and this is where they find the most turtles. Uh, to me, there is no conflict. Jensen is angry because he believes cattle grazing actually helps the desert tortoise, not least by cropping vegetation to help prevent fatal brush fires. Measures to protect the tortoise have forced him out of full-time ranching. The humble tortoise has also tripped up giant corporations who are desperate to build new housing estates on the desert to keep up with demands for 12,000 new homes a year. Because the animal is now protected, a qualified biologist must accompany builders onto any new site, and only they are authorized to touch the animal. Developers complained bitterly about the new rules until they came to an agreement with state authorities. Now they pay $500 per acre to help protect the tortoise. Irene Porter of the Southern Nevada Home Builders Association believes the right balance had to be struck. Everybody has to give something in this process. Um, and I don't think what we can get too far on on a limb. I mean, it's one thing to take care of and protect a species, but you certainly can't shut down the needs of human beings just to protect that species. There has to be a balance with the needs of human beings as well. The levy from builders paid for a desert tortoise conservation center and a program of research. Biologists hope they can find out why tortoise populations have dropped by 70% in the Western Mojave since 1980. One area of research is a respiratory disease which has reduced numbers by 40,000 in the last three years. Government biologist Sid Sloan says the plight of the tortoise may indicate much wider problems because it's so close to the food base, surviving on the vegetation of the desert. I think the desert tortoise is a barometer of the, of the health of the desert ecosystem. And if we're losing the desert tortoise, it tells us something else is wrong out there. And so I don't look at it so much as an emotional thing. I don't have an emotional tie to the tortoises themselves. Yeah, I'm just looking at the, the health of the ecosystem. And if we start losing species in that ecosystem, then we know we have some problems. One problem has been the reintroduction of pet tortoises into the wild. Betty Bird runs an adoption center for unwanted captive animals. Scientists believe pet tortoises carry the respiratory disease which has decimated the wild population. So it's very important that we give people a place where they can take their tortoise to get it out of circulation if they no longer want a pet. They think that maybe it's good to give it its freedom. It is not. It disrupts everything. Tortoise is used to captivity, and he may be carrying that fatal, often fatal, respiratory disease. Other threats to the tortoise spring from the hedonistic lifestyle which Las Vegas so glaringly represents. Many tortoises are killed by joyriders in off-road vehicles, while others are simply shot with fire. The desert tortoise is playing a game of roulette with its noisy neighbors. The demise of the desert tortoise may result from a combination of problems which form a deadly cocktail. On top of everything else, scientists know that more baby tortoises are being taken by ravens whose numbers have increased. This may be a natural fluctuation in species which will balance again in time. Or the dramatic decline of the animal may be symptomatic of wider changes to the environment and climate caused by man. The desert might be changing permanently, and the 10 million-year-old tortoise may be one of the first casualties.